Uh, Thailand's former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat has submitted a request for a royal pardon to the caretaker government as he tries to avoid an eight-year prison sentence. A few days ago, a petition was submitted to oppose any attempt from Mr Thaksin to seek royal clemency. The former Premier was detained on charges of graft and abuse of power but he has been transferred to a police hospital due to health issues. And last week, the 74-year-old returned to the kingdom after 15 years of self-imposed exile. His return coincided with the prime ministerial vote in parliament, which saw Thaksin ally and Pua Thai Party candidate Seta Tawisin picked as the country's new leader. And for more, CNA's May Wong joins us live in Bangkok outside the police hospital where the former Premier is staying. Oh, May, what are the chances that Mr Thaksin will get this royal pardon? Thailand's King Mahawachira Longkorn is the only person who can grant this royal pardon to Thaksin Shinawat. When he's going to do it and how soon he will do it, well, that again is going to be his sole prerogative. However, there are three possibilities that could happen. One, the king actually grants Mr. Tuxin that royal pardon. He is staying here at the Royal Police Hospital right now. Two, the point is he may grant Mr. Tuxin a partial pardon, which is the reduction of his jail sentence of eight years in prison. And the third possibility is that he will reject this royal pardon request. And if he rejects this royal pardon request, that means Mr. Thaksin Chinawat will have to wait two years before he can reapply for another request to seek this pardon. Now, in that letter that was submitted to the palace to ask for this royal pardon, certain information will have to be included in there. For example, records of his medical health conditions, not just here in Thailand, but also in the last almost 20 years when he was in self-imposed exile. Yet another point was, in order to ask for this royal pardon, he also needs to explain what kind of contributions he has made to the country. For example, when he was prime minister back in 2001, all the way to 2006. And the third point is the fact that if he's granted this royal pardon, then when he comes out, what contributions will he be able to further make to this nation? Now, this is not the first time that the king has granted royal pardons. For example, last year during his 70th birthday, the king actually pardoned 80,000 prisoners, hoping that it will give them a chance to perhaps contribute to society and change themselves as well. However, what is different this time around is for the fact that this is an individual asking for a royal pardon. And the other point is this is an ex-prime minister asking for a royal pardon. A lot of people are actually already commenting on this right now. No surprise that Mr. Thaksin is asking for a royal pardon because this was the point that he came back into Thailand. However, some people are actually saying the fact that ultimately this may not really be fair to other prisoners as well. I mean, of course, this will, uh, it will unfold in the days ahead. But on a more immediate issue, where you are now, the police hospital, Mr. Thaksin was transferred there within just, just over a week uh, because of health issues. Any updates on Mr. Thaksin's current health condition? Remember here when he came back about 10 days ago, he barely spent any time in the prison. He was brought here to the police hospital for various health conditions, for example, heart conditions, lung conditions, back problems, as well as high blood pressure. Now, those were the kind of conditions that his daughter, Petong Tan Chinawat, updated the media a couple of days ago that hasn't changed. And for now, he remains in the hospital, even though the police, as well as the authorities, have said they are not giving him any special privileges, but he needs to stay here simply because his health condition does not permit him to go back to the prison. Our thanks to May Wong speaking live to us from Bangkok.